Andre de Grasse is bringing together some of the country's top athletes here at Casa Loma and the red carpet. Well, it's actually a replica of the track and field course that he would run on. He's celebrating the launch of his first wine as well as the funds that will be raised for his foundation and for him and his family. It's an exciting night. Congratulations. I want you to take a look at this. I believe it's your first time seeing it. What's your reaction to your face on a bottle yeah. of wine? Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I saw it on the... <laughs> I saw it on my phone, but it's my first time actually seeing it in person here, so it, uh, it's a surreal feeling. How did this collaboration <laughs> come about? And it's like, it's so limited edition, 500 mm -hmm. cases, people are going to love this, but how did it come about? Uh, to be honest, um, you know, it was, a, it was a joint effort. I mean, uh, you know, Pilateri, uh, shout out to Pilateri Estates, you know, they approached us and, you know, said, hey, you know, we, uh, you know, feel like Andre's the guy and, you know, we want to, you know, do something special for him. With your foundation, how are you mm -hmm. hoping to use the funds that are raised tonight? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, so I have my own foundation and it's really, in, you know, for inspiring and empowering you through sport, education, and healthcare. Um, we do a lot of um, different organizations. We've done stuff with Kids Help Phone, Sick Kids. Um, you know, I have the Andre de Grasse Future Champions Fund that helps give resources to youth um, through track and field to get them to, you know, to give them the, um, the opportunity for, you know, to, to compete, for transportation, all those things. So, I mean, it's, it can go into any one of those things. We haven't exactly, I guess, you know, figured out where it's going to go, but we're definitely going to spread it, spread it, spread it apart. And uh, it's definitely, you know, with the funds raised tonight, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be amazing to be able to help all these kids um, in the near future. You now, leading up to this, you're extremely busy. You're kind of getting into your off season a bit. But what actually is an off season for you, and how much are you thinking <laughs> about what's a little thing called the Olympics two years ahead? Yeah, I have a little bit of off season right now, a few weeks, uh, you know, to just kind of, you know, spend some time with my family and friends, which is good, which is well needed. It's good to have a little mental break. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll get back to it. And, you know, we have the World Championship next year in Budapest, Hungary. And then, of course, the Paris Olympic Games in 2024. So I'll have to use that as a kind of a stepping stone to get ready for Paris. But, uh, I mean, I'm excited. Uh, I try not to think too far ahead. I try to just try to just take it one day at a time and just enjoy the moment. Um, especially tonight, I will be enjoying this moment. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be great. I mean, uh, definitely, just you know, just having that little off time is great, and uh, I can't wait to get back to the grind soon. Some of the expected guests tonight on the fun track and field style red carpet is, of course, Olympic Golden Girl Penny Alexiak, as well as Raptors Fred Van Vliet. And if you don't know, Andre is quite the basketball player. I asked if there was a chance of a little one-on-one -on -one between them both, and he didn't rule it out. Tonight, you can hear from Fred and Penny, and a little bit more of Andre on City News at 11.